This is Unity, Joy of Life. I'm Nancy Norman, and this is your weekly wisdom. I live under God's economy. I live under God's economy. That's an affirmation that I am using in my life. I live under God's economy. Yes, there's talk about inflation and about lack. However, it has nothing to do with me. Because God's law of increase is ever present in my life. I want you to hear that. God's law of increase is always present in my life. I continue to remember God's promise from Nehemiah 2 verse 20. And it reads, the God of heaven, he will prosper us. So my affirmation is, I live under God's economy. He prospers me in mighty ways, always. I live under God's economy. He prospers me in mighty ways, always. It's important for us to continue to hold and to maintain an attitude of abundant increase towards everything and everybody, no matter what the news may be reporting. It's important to continue to hold and maintain an attitude of abundant increase towards everything and everybody, no matter what the news reports. Charles Fillmore, in his book, Prosperity, says this. He said, the spiritual substance from which all visible wealth comes is never depleted. It is right with you all the time and responds to your faith in it and your demands upon it. It is not affected by your ignorant talk of hard times, though we are affected because our thoughts and our words govern our demonstration. The unfailing resource is always ready to give. Pour your living words of faith into the omnipresent ethers and you will be prospered. You will be prospered though all the banks in the world may close their doors. Turn the great energy of your thinking upon plenty ideas and you will have plenty regardless of what men about you are saying or doing. Are saying or doing doing. What others are saying and what others are doing, what others are saying about the economy or about you is none of your business. What people criticize, condemn, or belittle have nothing to do with you. Nothing at all. What others say, condemn, or criticize has nothing to do with you. Keep your eyes single and focused on the desired outcome that you want, to, you want to create in your life. There is no one that can keep your success or your prosperity from you. No one but yourself. If one door closes, know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are bigger and better and greater doors that are now opening. I live under God's economy. He prospers me in mighty ways, always. I live under God's economy. He prospers me in mighty ways, always. Remember God's law of increase. It is powerful. God bless you and have a prosperous week because you live under God's economy and God is prospering you in mighty ways, always. God bless you and have a magnificent week.